it's windy. The wind has been blowing in Dublin now for, I can't remember the last time it wasn't windy. And as a runner, I'm just fed up with the wind. Anyway, nice little run there. Just did like eight and a half K, just a little shake out. Did a half marathon on Sunday, so today's Tuesday. Legs are a little bit sore. Uh, I didn't push it too hard in the half marathon. Um, I had a pretty bad lead into it and uh, in terms of training. So I just kind of took it easy today in that race. Well, didn't take it easy. Treated it kind of like a tempo run and uh, ran it 138 something. Um, right at the very start, I got a bee sting in the mouth, which kind of set me off a little bit. I was going to pull out and then I thought, oh look, I'm here, I might as well do it. Use it as a, as a good training run and get another medal. So as you can see there in the last clip, I ran another half marathon the weekend just passed. So today's Wednesday. Um, that running clip you just saw was Tuesday yesterday. Um, yeah, uh, the plan f at the start of this year was to get myself in shape to run a fairly decent half marathon, which I did a month ago in the Bohemian race. I ran a 132. So the goal, in order, what, what would constitute a good run for me, was just doing a little bit faster than last year. So last year I ran 134. This year I ran 132, and that was off the base of just lots of easy miles, lots of base miles, lots of zone two kind of easy training. I didn't really do any workouts. What I was kind of doing was I would go out and if I did feel like running a little bit faster, I would just kind of pick up the pace. But I think the fastest pace run I've done was around 4.45 per kilometer. So nothing too hectic. And I got myself in pretty good shape. I was kind of happy with that. And then when I finished that race, that was a month ago, I kind of thought I should use that as a springboard and try and go sub 90 minutes in this race. The one I just did on Sunday. Um, as a friend of mine was the race director, so I signed up and there was a couple of my club mates doing it. So I was going along to try and do that. But the four weeks in between the two races weren't great in terms of training. Um, I got a really bad chest infection after the last race because it was raining for the whole race and it was a cold day. Uh, so that kind of, I didn't run for a whole week. And then it was probably another week where I was kind of feeling back to myself. So it was kind of broken runs in that second week. And then just couldn't get it together. We went away, the family went away for a weekend. So I missed a long run. There was just a couple of things. Life just threw a few events at me. So at the start line, I just didn't feel great at that race. Felt tired, felt kind of fatigued. Um, set off at a pace to run around that 132, 134. Um, and then about 2K in, just got a little bee sting just inside my mouth. I actually stopped the time I lace and got a bee sting in the mouth while I was doing it. It was very, pretty mild, didn't really hurt that much. Um, I started to run again, it was a little bit sore. And then I kind of forgot about it for a part of the race. And then probably around about 12 to 15K, it, it got quite sore. And I was thinking about pulling out and I thought, oh, I might as well just keep going. Sure, it was a long run. And then, um, finished up the race when I did it swelled up quite a bit but it's fine it's totally fine um it wasn't a major factor in why I didn't run uh, quicker than uh, run sub 90 I just felt fatigued my body just didn't feel it on the day it was a really windy day as well and it was the, the really wind was the one thing that was the kind of one excuse I didn't need to just say oh, I just couldn't push myself and when I got the beast thing all motivation to try and run hard just just went down anyway look that happens you get those days 1-8 is, is still a pretty good time. It was a fairly decent long run. It just turned into like a tempo long run. So 1.38, I was kind of happy with that. Friday afternoon. Uh, in the last video, I was complaining about the wind. The wind has left us, which is great. It's very mild. It's very warm. I started to run off with a jacket. Had to take the jacket off. So hopefully this is the beginning of spring now in Ireland because we've had some rain and some wind. That just makes running really tough. Yeah, tonight, beautiful day, long may it last. So that's that. So now I'm kind of from this week, it's kind of been all now thinking about Martin training. So that's kind of the base phase done. The foundation base phase is all done. Being able to run a 132 I think is perfect in order to springboard me from now until December to try and get myself in shape to run that sub three hour Martin. That's the goal. Um, so, so far this week, I've done a good few runs. Um, haven't run the half marathon on Sunday, I took Monday off. You saw that run Tuesday, run this morning, yeah, did a run today. And then I'll do a couple more runs throughout the rest of the week. I'll try and get up around that 65K for the week. Um, one of those sessions will either be a little bit of a tempo or some intervals. And then also um, I start doing a little bit of strength training again. So I haven't done any strength training in ages. Um, did a little bit on Tuesday, uh, yesterday evening. So did a little bit of that. And today I feel like I did a couple of push-ups, did some squats, some kettlebell swings and some one-arm rows. And I feel a little bit, all in all, this it was kettlebells. All in all, I only spent seven minutes. But the key thing to remember is when people ask me all the time, how much strength training do you need or whatever? And the 
the simplest answer is enough to make a stimulus. So enough to stimulate your body to have an adaptation to make you a little bit stronger. Seven minutes was enough for me yesterday because I haven't done it in a while. I can feel it across there. I can feel it in my lats. I can feel a little bit in the squats, not too much. And the kettlebell swings. I actually did some side um, uh, obliques up as well. So I can feel it in my obliques as well. So definitely got enough in that seven minutes. We'll build on that week on week. I'll probably do a little bit of strength and conditioning work maybe five days a week, you know, 10, 15 minutes until I get up to about half an hour. Once I get to half an hour, I'll probably do two or three half hour sessions a week. I won't be doing it every day. But for in the meantime, I'll just do a little bit of strength and conditioning almost every day, just to kind of get that enough stimulus to get the body in shape. Uh, start burning fat, start getting a little bit more muscle tone, start getting a little bit stronger, and then I'll start hitting those real hard running workouts. That's all the plan for the months coming forward. The next race is going to be a 10k. That's in the middle of June. Um, I did that last year and had a. That was it, last year's race was the reason why I went to my doctor to find out what was going on. I got to the bottom of the whole stomach issue. That's all sorted. So this year in that 10k, saying now might change, but it'll be gone for sub 40 minutes in that 10k. I should be able to do that if I keep my head in the game, if I keep myself fit, and if I keep myself injury free. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, I'll, I'll wrap this week up. Um, I'll try and do a vlog now every week of what I'm doing in terms of uh, Martin training. Um, and then throwing a few races here and there. I want to do a park run. I think I should be able to get under the 20 minutes fairly handy if I, if I get myself down to do a park run. And apart from that, um, yeah, just keep some updates. So any, remember guys, run far, run fast, and also run sensible. <laughs>